many of us in Generation X, retirement is a life we can't even imagine. Not that it's so far away or that we're not saving, although many Gen Xers aren't saving enough. But rather, retirement simply doesn't mean to us what it meant to baby boomers and World War II babies. So let's redefine the word retirement for those born between the early 1960s and the early 1980s. How are we different from our parents? What are we scared of? What drives us? What do we think we hear when we hear the word retirement? Well, less and less often we are seeing people retiring from the Fortune 500 boardroom or a widget company to a gold watch and a life on the golf course. And in the cases where folks are getting a gold watch, it's sometimes part of their severance. Get out of here. We've seen our parents retire simply because they reached a certain age. Maybe it was 60 or 65. Or we've seen them retire because they reached a certain number of years at the company. 30, 35, 40, or in the school system. You've served your time and you have your pension. Or maybe they just retired due to health concerns that weren't actually life ending, but required them to back off from their career. They simply couldn't go day to day like they used to. For me and many of my peers in Gen X, the drop dead retirement date where we sail off and do something else simply doesn't appeal to us. After all, playing golf or volunteering or Coffee at the Country Club eventually becomes its own work when you have to do it every single day. So why do we stop doing, why would we stop doing something that we enjoy with people we enjoy, but we're also getting a paycheck, kind of nice, due to simply age or a season of life? This is not your father's retirement, folks. As people are living longer and longer, this also becomes a factor. We don't know exactly how long of a retirement that our generation is going to have. Plenty of people make whimsical comments all the time to me like, oh, I'll work forever. And while some of those people simply haven't saved a dime at age 50, just as many are people who are saving diligently but simply can't imagine what else they'd be doing. Perhaps you're watching this and you're thinking, but I don't enjoy what I'm doing now, Dave. Well, I know some people hate their jobs, and while I can't empathize with that, as I'm not in that position, I do understand that for these folks working to 65 to get their government benefits, think Medicare, is a perfectly good plan. But I also want to warn you about the possibility, so you can start mentally preparing for this, that if you do plan to work just to get your government benefits, you're probably going to possibly have to keep it at it and at work until you're at least age 70. And the reason why is this is likely the reality for the post-boomer generation. If people are living longer and longer, then what's wrong with them working a little longer? At least that's how the government will view it, in my opinion. As retirements get longer with people living longer, most Gen Xers won't have saved enough to get all the way through it. But we do want you to enjoy life now. We want you to enjoy it. We want you to save a little. We want you to spend a little. Maybe work more years, but fewer hours at the end of your career. But above all else, make sure that where you're spending a large portion of your day is doing something that you really do enjoy. And if you're not, find it. Because you very well could have another 30 or 40 years to work. Think on that for a minute. How do your thoughts and goals about retirement or the later part of your working life differ from those of your parents and your grandparents? For all you Gen Xers out there, are we close to hitting the mark with these comments? Or do you have a different ideas about what retirement will look like for you? Will you even call it retirement? Well, we'd love to hear your thoughts during our next planning meeting or just pick up the phone and let's chat. Learning more about your goals, your concerns, and your vision for the next decade and beyond helps us serve you better as you work towards the life you've dreamed of.